Good afternoon and welcome to happy hour. This is an unscripted event. Hey, this is my diary. This is my journal entry. No, can't say that stuff anymore. Hey, this is my gender non-binary way of reporting my life experiences. It's definitely not a journal because that would be a guy and if I said it was a diary, that would be a girl. We can't do these things these days, so. For those that have been with me for a while, they may know a thing or two about happy hour. Happy hour is, for one, non-alcoholic because you're about to go inside of a gym and work out. And it's not really productive to sit there and down alcohol when you're about to walk into a gym for a number of reasons. Uh, hopefully common sense is enough of a reason to, to trust me on that one. This is some Hyde pre-workout with an extra flavor enhancer of apple Skittles. Those little drink mixes. Quite tasty, I'm, I'm quite fond of those. Um, honestly, the pre-workout itself is just a little bland, so it needs some kind of enhancement. A lot of times I like to do a little bit of lemon juice in here uh, to get that kind of acidic effect of real juice. Um, so happy hour, here's the purpose of happy hour. A, you get caffeinated. How it works is you bring your pre-workout with you, it's already mixed, okay? It's been in the fridge actually all day long because you want your happy hour beverage to be nice and cold and crisp. You don't want room temperature pre-workout. It's disgusting. Don't put yourself in that situation. So you get to the gym with your cold, already mixed pre-workout. You do not go into the gym. That's your first mistake. For happy hour, you stay in your car. You find some good tunes, okay? Which means you need to have done your homework. You need to put together a good playlist for happy hour. Happy hour music is a little different than like actually in the gym music. You have your gym playlist where you need like maximum aggression and um, you know maximum energy output, burst of energy like that. So that's your playlist for in the gym, but for your happy hour playlist, you need something more mellow, more introspective. So that leads me to my second point of happy hour. First parts get caffeinated. Obviously you're gonna need that energy. Second part though is the introspection. It's kind of the time of day where a lot of people would just simply call it meditation, but I don't like to think of that. I don't think that's necessarily correct because for me, it's more like doing this. It's video journaling. Um, for other people, it might be writing in a physical journal. Uh, I, was, I always struggled with doing that on a regular cadence. It felt like a chore to me. I, I couldn't get my thoughts out fast enough and I'm sitting there trying to write slowly to capture them and it just feels like I can't say everything I want to say. Um, so video logs have been easier for me to maintain a diary or a journal or whatever you want to call it. I remember growing up though, it's like boys have a journal, girls have a diary. Um, but nowadays boys and girls don't exist, right? So that whole thing is just moot. Now I have a gender non-binary way of recording my life experiences. There you go. And says, hey, this is my diary. This is my journal entry. No, can't say that stuff anymore. Hey, this is my gender non-binary way of reporting my life experiences. It's definitely not a journal because that would be a guy. And if I said it was a diary, that would be a girl. And we can't do these things these days. So um, anyway, back to happy hour. <laughs> you are in the car doing your introspective 30 minutes a day or so. Um, that's why I said it's similar to meditation because you really try to shut down the external world. You know, the work day has ended. Um, you really try to turn off. Don't look at emails. And I guess what I do is I think about whatever goals I have going on. It is, it's me time in that it's blocked off for me. Other people aren't involved um, and it's mellow. But at the same time, it's still highly productive time. It's time where I sit here and think like, okay, in order, what are my priorities right now? Am I trying to score my next job promotion? Am I tr like trying to train for some kind of physical fitness thing going on? Like, is there a photo shoot that I'm dieting for? Maybe I wanted to compete in the show one day, um, you know, for whatever reason, is summer coming up and I'm dieting for that? Is that a priority? And then you have your relationships and your family, all the priorities that are currently on your mind there. Um, and then your other 
aspects of growth. So some of you are gonna be students. Some of us are perpetual students, always learning. I love learning, whether it's subscribing to the finance channels on YouTube, subscribing to YouTube growth channels, trying to figure out how do you even grow a YouTube channel? Um, I've always loved the health and fitness and lifestyle YouTube channels. Um, I, I rarely watch content that isn't cumulative, meaning you learn something from it that you then get to go apply later on. That's very important to me. Like when you watch Family Guy, for example, or you watch the latest Avengers movie, sure, it relieves stress and that it distracts you from your real stresses. For two hours, you're just able to completely zone out and watch shiny objects flash on the screen and have some funny lines to laugh at. That's totally an appropriate way of relieving stress too. But in my opinion, leisurely stress relief should not be the majority of your stress relief. So let's just say if you're working at eight hours a week and you have other responsibilities for four hours of the day and you're sleeping eight hours, that means you have four hours left. You shouldn't spend all four of those hours after chores, after work and all that on straight up leisure, video games, um, movies, TV shows, idly scrolling Instagram, um, et cetera. Like that stuff doesn't cumulatively add up to anything over the long term. It's okay to include some of that activity because we're human beings and we need pleasurable um, distractions sometimes, it's fine. But in my opinion, let's just keep going with that example of you only have four hours left of the day after you subtracted out work, after you subtracted out your chores. I typically aim for at least 50%, and that's on a bad day for me, of that time still being productive time. So that's two hours worth of working on video, video editing, writing scripts to record, watching YouTube tutorials on how to do either of those things better, um, watching financial and investing tips on the real estate or the stock market. Like at least half of my extra time, how much ever time it is, half of it or more goes to productive purposes. It's still consuming entertainment, but it's educational entertainment. That was one of the biggest ways I changed my life in terms of building up a career and consistent healthy behaviors when I found out that you have to flip that ratio on how you spend your leisure time, you have to flip it towards a disproportionate amount of productive types of entertainment. Um, things that you have something to show for at the end of or speak about on the at the end of. So that's what happy hour is for me. It's thinking about all those extra chunks of productivity outside of the obvious I have a work deadline that I'm working on that has to be done by the end of the week or something like that. Like, okay, but what else, Josh, outside of your career, what else are you trying to achieve? Um, for me, I, spiritual growth continues to be an important thing. So asking myself questions such as how much time have I spent in prayer? Um, how much time have I spent engaging other Christians? You know, how much time have I spent reading scripture, how much time have I spent learning uh, about God and other people's versions of spirituality. Like these are all important things for me to do that are in the long term going to make me a more spiritually healthy person. So if you never think and put them on your agenda of things you need to go do, then um, they never get done. So that's happy hour. It's a fun little time. I got to start actually working on my happy hour now instead of talking about it. Um, this is about 16 ounces of pre-workout. So I'm going to slam this whole thing, listen to a few good tunes, get caffeinated, get my mind right, and then get in there and go do probably a back day. <laughs>